Staying with the event that clearly displayed South Korea's military might, we have Professor Kim Young-jun of Korea National Defense University with us in the studio to provide his insight to the significance of this year's Armed Forces Day celebration. Professor Kim, it's good to have you with us. Yeah, thank you for having me today. Right, yeah. and it's, uh, it's good to have you back in the studio again. You were here with us yeah, throughout the ceremony. Good. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so other than being held earlier than the official date, I heard it happened, but it's not very often. The standout difference in this year's, uh, uh, this year's event is that it was the Navy's maiden hosting of the celebrations. Mm -hmm. So what does the change spell out for us? Oh, yeah, it has a lot of uh, important messages, especially the Navy hosted this uh, event. It, it means it's uh, President Moon Jae-in emphasized on the jointness, not just one, uh, especially Army service. And um, we had usually had a kind of military parade in Gaeryong area, which where uh, Army headquarters and Navy headquarters Air Force headquarters were, Gwanghamun area. But it was changed, especially since the sixth nuclear test of North Korea. So it has a lot of things. And going on, it's, uh, and another thing is that uh, Navy Second Fleet has a Chonan uh, Memorial Museum. It has a kind of liberal president to have a strong message to international community and North Korea. We have a defense capability against North Korea and any kinds of provocation. Right. Uh, some uh, painful memories dash mm -hmm. there, and of course. Uh, things we would like to forget, but we must never forget, of course. And it's also uh, quite uh, an important uh, uh, milestone for those in the other branches other than the Army, mm -hmm. uh, having the chance to be the central piece or the central host of this event. Yep. Uh, Professor Kim, North Korea's uh, biggest obsession, of course, to no one's uh, uh, mm -hmm. surprise is projectiles and missiles. Yep. So South Korea, we saw a lot of indigenous ballistic missile capabilities on display this time. Uh, did you notice any visible uh, upgrades or additions during the parade? Uh, not actually additional capability, but it has shown officially first time, especially Hyunmo third, yes, so it has a maximum range of the 1,500 kilometer, and um, it is very important uh, uh, basis component for trial system, including the kill chain, a KAMD, and the KP a KMPR. So it has a lot of important message against those Korean provocation or international community. Right, and of course there are some major changes we will get to uh, uh, have the limits or the lid off in terms of the payloads, right? Yeah, Missiles. yeah, but it was, uh, now it's more flexible as you know, the, uh, both country, especially the U.S. and uh, Korea, has uh, developed that kind of uh, lim limited limitation on the payload or uh, missile range. So. Right, a stronger show of uh, the alliance between Seoul and Washington and uh, of course mm -hmm. also displaying that the missiles you see here aren't just mm -hmm. a tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Sending a strong message to North Korea yeah. in some sense. And of course, uh, President Moon Jae-in, this is his uh, maiden experience uh, uh, to address the mm -hmm. men and women in the services. Mm -hmm. uh, and he emphasized stronger uh, readiness and, mm -hmm. of course, uh, uh, transferring OPCON or operation control during wartime from uh, Washington to Seoul mm -hmm. sooner than anticipated. But uh, yeah. we've seen delays in the past. Uh, yeah. Will things be different this time around? Mm, yeah. So, uh, as you will remember, the many international community or Washington DC community concern about the liberal uh, president candidate Moon Jae-in because um, they concern about the sunshine policy things or uh, second season of Lomian. So, uh, it is important because of, for him to show up. He, he is a strong uh, commander in chief capability and leadership as well. So uh, this event, uh, not only for domestic purpose, but also for the international uh, community message as well. So. Right, he is uh, constantly viewed as uh, the peace-loving uh, olive branch extending leader mm -hmm. of South Korea. So it's also important to let them know that there are two sides to the South Korea's new leader, that he is fully capable of taking a stern action if it's necessary, uh, putting an exclamation mark there. Uh, mm -hmm. Before we let you go, Professor, I know you're a very busy man. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you perhaps point us to what's ahead uh, for South Korea in terms of uh, uh, defense changes, in terms of uh, our, our, the way we approach national defense, mm -hmm. especially pertaining to the changes from North Korea's ever-increasing threat? Um, mm -hmm. Any upgrades or changes that we see in the future for South Korea, whether it's just indigenous technologies or the alliance with uh, Washington? Uh, the Moon administration has uh, three kinds of uh, uh, important component against North Korea provocation. First thing is a trial system, a strong defense capability. Second thing is the rock U.S. alliance. And third thing is the international community support. So uh, this event show not only the strong uh, defense capability increasing operation transfer, 
or a trial system, including KP, KMPL, the kill chain capability. Also, Rock US Alliance, as you remember, uh, this is the first day uh, for uh, Rock US Combined Forces Command to list the honor uh, of the Rock Armed um, Forces Day. So, this is a strong message to the Rock US Alliance that because of Washington DC community still have kind of concern on Moon Jae in uh, because of. Uh, their memory is of Long Yan or right. Kim Dae-jung season, right. so, yeah. Right, uh, we, we can see him in some sense overcompensating because of mm -hmm. that, uh, that fixed misconceptions from outside looking in, and I yeah. think he is doing a good job so far. Yeah, I think well, so. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Professor Kim Young-jun. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we, uh, we are grateful for the insights you provided, and uh, we look forward to having you back here again sometime yeah, soon. Yeah, I'm looking forward, very looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, thank you thank again. Thank you very much. Yeah.